What's up? What's up? Sorry about that. I got mail. Anyway, the um about the bus that's going to be gone, you know. And if you're really conscious about who you are and you know want to have children that look like you and preserve your own personal identification into your seeds and to your children then you know that's something that you're really going to have to think about a lot of people don't think about it um there are like a lot of white guys come out here and black guys come out here and you know okay let's say like white guys out because they, they're a really good example um they come out here and they marry a japanese woman and what they don't really really tend to take the time to notice is that a lot of these Japanese women, especially that they're marrying, do look black. And now, when you now one person used to say, "Well, show us," because when we look at them on your video, that they look Japanese. Sure, they got the a face appearance of it, but when you look at them from the side, you will see the um, black. And I don't want to use that the N word that they use for you know the N, the C, and the N word they use for identification of people because I don't like that, like those words. But they. Um, if you look at a lot of their wives from the side, you know, they look black. You know, they got the same skull and jaw and stuff like that that a lot of black people do have. And I'm not saying that all white people don't have it either. Some do, especially those who are, um, with a skull in the back end anyway, with the hook and stuff for the, like, the, um, the Jewish, some of these Jewish white um, people do have it. And, you know, they do have the curly hair and stuff. And if you know the history, then you'll know where that's where they getting that's coming from but it's just interesting and then they'll have a child and they be with this Japanese woman and then they could come out looking black you know and with thick lips and sometimes they might have straight noses and stuff like that but you know all black people don't have straight I mean flat noses and white and broad noses either but um uh, but then some of them do come out looking black and if they're one of those kind of white um, people who may, um, how can I say that, who may um, talk about, spoke about black people when they were young, or they got big lips, and you know, talking to their kids come out looking like that, and it's, it's, it's really amazing, because most of the guys, the kids come out looking like their fathers anyway, and the boys come out looking like the um, girls, I mean the mothers, so that's why you have maybe some of these, um, these um, Japanese mixed white and mixed uh, white and Japanese kids, you know, the boys coming out looking more feminine, and the um, the um, fathers, you know, some of the fathers, you know, the girls come out looking more, you know, uh, mat not mat. I wouldn't say physics feminine. What am I talking about? They look more. Uh, I don't. I want to. It's not exactly white, but. term exactly yeah they come out looking like their moms basically and the and the girls they come out looking um black you know and because you have to understand that there are a lot of um like in the movies and stuff like that there are a lot of japanese people who are mixed you know with some type of european features and stuff like that and um a lot of them that are in the streets it's, and then the girls that do come out like that you know they are not all of them, but a lot of them are attracted to the African look and features of uh, men and stuff like that, you know, and I don't know why, maybe it's just a cultural thing, you know, because, um, I don't know, because there are a lot of them who are mixed, and they they don't feel Japanese, you know, and I'm not saying they don't feel Japanese, because they are Japanese, because Japanese is just a nationality and stuff like that, and it doesn't um, really, um, how can I say? depicts what your uh, features look like and stuff like that because there are a lot of Japanese people who look Thai and Chinese and they really it's really interesting almost like if um, um, the people were born from Japan and then left Japan and went to other places when that's of course not exact that's not true but um, but I don't know it's just really interesting so when you when you have children, you know, and I talk about the women here and stuff, yes, I talk about the beauty, you know, and the lips, but I talk about the uh, black beauty that I see that is in them, you know, and I'm not saying that there are no white beauties or anything like that, you know, because I'm not a white man, so a lot of, like, I got my friend, um, Wayne, you know, when he see um, white women and stuff, you know, and sometimes you go on the um, internet and he said, well, they're beautiful, they're beautiful, 
and I don't say anything, you know, I don't um, say they're beautiful, and I don't say they're ugly or anything, you know, I just listen, because I don't, because um, I've learned when you start talking, when people start talking, it's better to listen and let them say anything, and don't really interject your feelings in it, unless they ask you questions, because that's their time that they're, uh, you um, getting rid of that drilling that they've built up, you know, and it's coming out in the form of talking and speech or whatever it is. So I don't, I don't say anything, and I'm not saying that they're not beautiful or anything because they are, but I just don't say anything and stuff. I just most of the time I just listen and stuff, you know. And then um, I think I don't know. Um, so anyway, I don't. How can I say? I don't know how white men look at their own women. I just only know how I look at women, you know. And 